recording, it's the 16th of June and uh, it's only 6 o'clock, I'm on my second tank full, it's going absolutely, I've been pushing the boundaries a little bit with these fungicides, the T3 fungicides and putting them on in that real hot sun and I don't know, the plant seems to show, I know it kills its flag leaf, but, uh, but whether the ear, because this is sort of a ear application for disease in the ear, to stop disease getting in the ear. Whether the ear shuts down or whether the chemical dries out too fast, but I packed in yesterday and uh, I decided to come early morning. So yeah, two big tank pulls and it'll get a big chunk of our wheat and then I'll do probably a couple after tea when similar happens. You know, it's too expensive to put on wrong, isn't it? But yeah, it's going perfect. In fact, I would say perfect. In fact, look, we're about to turn around. There's a bit of dew on the you can nearly see, you maybe can't see on the, uh, but it's glazed, it's like painted it, and it's like glazed with a bit more moisture on top of the, uh, on top of the dew wash there, and there's a tiny bit of dew, you could nearly walk through it, it won't get wet. It's a fine crop of wheat, but not real clean. There's a 
quite a bit of um, black grass and blown broom shop. Yeah, it's just not enough for a job really, I mean. I like putting a lot of chemical on in sort of dull conditions, you know, because well, it dries too quick, but it's better than, well, biggest cat that chooses them. I've sort of got a lot to do and a little little short window of time so I'm sort of making on really but it's windy enough. Yeah, I think it's so bad for wind, it's dropped off a bit but it's certainly hot enough. But this morning was funny as hell. You know everything was ringing went through so there's no happy medium and then all of a sudden sun got up, dry, beaming sun all day so it's sort of made most of an after two tea tank full. Yeah, it's starting to uh, burn up now and, it, and it, I've noticed on some lighter land, lighter patches in, uh, in fields are starting to lose a lot of colour and they're going to suffer if they don't get a drink in next fortnight, there's, it's going to be very yield robbing I think. So this is, I'm mean, just going into that worst, worst field of wheat on farm. I don't know what we did wrong. It went in all right, it seemed to germinate all right, and winter just took its toll, it seemed to flood bad. And uh, we direct drilled it and it didn't sort of, the land didn't breathe like right. And uh, with it being a poor crop, the bloody rubbish has come through as well, so... Anyway, not to worry. Don't know where our cattle is, oh, they're back there. Well, they've been bushes taking a bit of shelter. Actually, this wheat looks a lot better than it did the last time I was in here. You know, it seems to have um, branched out a bit and shown the fair, fairish heads, but anyway, we'll see, but there's some massive roots in here, aren't there? Yeah, pretty shocking really. We won't need a fleet of trailers in here. Yeah, it's the worst crop we've got on the farm. It's a massive great indentation and I can't remember it being like that when we were a kid. It's as though it's subsiding. Um, subsiding, it's getting lower and lower. And what we've decided, well, if we get round to it, it's one of them jobs where we'll be flat out when it wants doing before it gets wet because it'll want stone into the top. Is I'm gonna shoot out, let me just fold up and get See, you see this little bit, this like little valley, it wants a, dr a drain put in, I don't know, probably four foot deep, go, into a, go over the edge into the grass so the water just goes down to the grass into a dikey pond and just dig, dig four foot deep right up this hill to that plateau where it's low and, uh, and put one of them tyre drains. I mean, to be fair, for 200 metres worth of pipe and a bit of bugging about when a day's digging with digger it would, could solve a big part of our problem um, but uh, so I don't know really just one of them jobs where I think needs to do it you know, make an effort and do it like but yeah pretty shocking is the crop though I don't know wrong gear this land up here it's either too dry or too wet Right, and I'll film it, and you'll end up on YouTube. Thank you. 
Didn't say that there. Let me take these. I'll fix it in the morning. Any morning, I didn't lose. Good girl, yeah. Jet, uh, Bella. Uh, Willa, go on. Shh. Get it, get it, get it. Get it, Willa. Get it, Willa. Get it. Here, here. What is it? What is it? What is it, Willa? I'll move it back on. Yeah. How many do we get? Stop fucking moving. <laughs> well done, lads. Yeah. Phil's lad and his mates turned up at right time to uh, to just eliminate these rats. Um, no, nowhere near as bad as last time. Phil uh, moved half at straw and then got to a point where he started seeing a few. So and they'd moved back and back and congregated under the last two bills so and yeah my apologies for swearing you couldn't have cockle dude or beat that out could we so but uh, yeah we're just putting these concrete panels on top and we're we're uh, cladding that um solid cladding it and we're going to put doors on a middle door and concrete panels there and have it cladded so make it from a temporary star into somewhere where we can leave somewhere where we can leave 250 to a million weight for uh, for a for a spell like so yeah yeah we're, cla we're clad in this side and it's just somewhere where we can bung some corn and forget about it if it's dry uh, obviously we're farm assured if it's open front it ain't allowed so we're clad in it Putting a door, roller shut a door there, and uh, clad it out front and next door. So it's not really high enough, but we can tip up safely and push it about and heap it up. It'll work, I think. But yeah, there's some big rats, very big rats. So yeah, yeah, my apologies for swearing. So anyway, if you like this channel, like and subscribe, and uh, you get a ring bell or something, or you get notifications about what else we do. Do maybe two, sometimes three a week of just a. Uh, a rough hard farm in East Yorkshire, like I keep telling you. So, right, I'm going to clean this up and that's it. Barbecue time. Saturday afternoon, it's about 20, 26 degrees and it's lovely. And, uh, yeah, I've been told that we're having a barbecue. So, got a few jobs done. And uh, check me Herifords and then uh, go sit in the garden and make some Stella. So, right, bye for now.